And Erica, yeah, there were serious water problems due to some work that was being done on the roof of this skilled nursing facility that's right behind me. And as a result of that, 70 people who live here are needing to be evacuated because different uh, authorities here have deemed this building uh, not safe to live in at this point right now. And if you take a look at some video that we got earlier, you can see some of those folks being taken out of the building here. Now we understand that three high priority patients were taken to a hospital. Around 20 others have been taken to another nursing facility, Bear Mountain Nursing Facilities, their location in Andover. We're at the one in Sudbury. Another 50 people still have to be evacuated at this point, and that's why crews are going to be working through the duration of the evening to get people out of this building here. We just heard from the fire chief here in Sudbury moments ago. Listen. So it started at the leak and it went through the second and the first floor. And one of the major reasons we have to evacuate this facility is because all the units that are affected is the units that support all the patients in the building, the kitchen, the dining room, the electrical rooms. And those are the main areas that were affected. Now, we understand that there are no injuries as a result of all of this, but we also understand that they had to cut the power here, so there was no air conditioning or anything like that, and we still believe that there isn't any air conditioning right now, so uh, these folks are, are still in here waiting to be evacuated. We'll be waiting for quite some time now without electricity. We do understand that they did get the elevators working to help uh, facilitate those evacuations, but right now there are no structural issues with the building behind me, although they say it is unsafe for these folks to be in here at this point. We will continue to stay on top of this.